Got my gas can in the back of the truck for the boat right here. I might take old David out for a ride on the boat. Three sixty cam. So, David, tell me, have you ever been out on a boat like this? No, tell I me. have not, ever. Tell me. Never. <laughs> never have I seen such a boat. Uh, so, you never rode in a Bonka before? Nope. Really? A Bonka for me. She's starting to float up right now. Well, we're going to take her out here in just a little bit. But I took David out on his first bonka ride. We're out about, um, well, we live in Tikbawin. We went past Old Time. We're down at, at Villa right now. Actually, we're fixing to pull up here where a lot of the sailboats are right now for the regatta. I've already been down past some others back at another resort. But I'm just going to pull up here and see what's going on. Enjoying this little cruise out on the water. It's Gimmerous Island right there in front of us. Yeah, that's Gimmerous. There's a bunch of sailboats right here. We'll pull up here and see what's happening. gonna beach up right here and see what's going on okay David step out right there now just push us forward okay just hang tight right there and I'm gonna get out and do the same. So here we are, let's walk around and check out these, these sailboats, man. They are just nice little setups. Look at all that, man. That is just long bamboo itself. Some of them don't use bamboo. But, and that is nice, nice, nice. Boy, just look how slim they are. Super slim, man. That is so cool. There's somebody's mice. Try to do a little recording here, man. My camera gets really hot out here in the sun, but Let's look at this beautiful artwork on this boat. Let's have a look at this. Pioneer Pearl Glaze. Hope you all can see that good. That is very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice time out here right now. It's nice to be able to just go out and cruise on the boat. Let's go over here and check out a couple more of these boats real quick. We got the Boar Lee. Also says all these say Baraka, Baraka, Boraka, however you want to say it. What is this one? Joffman? Mm -hmm. 
Ashley. Super and Dong. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy looking little boat right there. You see, I'm just wading through the water out here. So nice for a lot of trash here right now though. A lot of trash. So this one is Happy Hour. It's got Bob Marley there on it. Got the Rolling Stones on it. And the perfect storm is right up there in front of it. You can see it right up there. See how the rudder setup is on that. Man, that's pretty cool. Get a really good look, man. These boats are just mega slim, handcrafted, just works of art. Just absolute works of art. I think they're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Man. Bet that boat's not even 16, 18 inches, maybe. <laughs> no joke, it, it it might be 18, 20 inches, okay, at its widest point right there. Yeah. Discovery and Alexa May. Yeah. And then we got, what's this here? Tim Tim. Love Baraka. It's very... Very nice. Let me get a little snapshot of that. So we can get back from them a little bit. We'll get another snapshot. Just out here on a little adventure checking this all out for the Ilo Ilo Regatta Paral. Just checking it all out. Hello, Paul. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So when they're down here, this direction, and they're looking at a perspective back towards where we live, we live way down there, so a lot of people don't realize how this bows in. It's not straight here alone, going just like straight to Iloilo. So we followed that shore there around and we curved around and came to here. And we are way on down that way far right there. Let me see if I could zoom up on that maybe just a little bit. Yeah, we are way down right there. See them out there, guys, rod and reel fishing. Yeah, they got the rudder and all off this boat. I think that's what he's bringing in right now is the rudder. Well, they're trying to haul hollow block on that. That's a job. <laughs> That's some work for hollow block, boy. <laughs> it's been enjoyable driving on down through here with David, letting him have his first bonka ride, first pump boat ride in the Philippines. Yep. He looked very tense when he first got out on the water, and I tell him, loosen up, man. I think he was cramping every muscle up. He was holding on that boat as tight as he could. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool here, pretty cool. This is very enjoyable for me to get out here and do this. Yeah. Born a Texas inland country boy, 
but have been in love with the water. The water's called my name my whole life. I'd always have to head to the lakes or to the coast. And I always had to have some old boat, half time, most time old beaters. I guess that's just the way I've always been. I always like the fixer upper. And uh, enjoying life, man. I just love being near the water. Put me on the water, and I am a happy man. trying to bring the wind song up i'm gonna go over here and help them well that was pretty cool i helped those guys push their boat up and they appreciate the help as well and uh once the guy said you want me to take your picture with our boat and you know and all i said oh no need no need and the other guy said he's a vlogger we know him and we know his boat and and, uh, and they watched my video so guys i appreciate that very much and it was cool that you knew who i I was when I walked up without saying anything. It's, it's kind of funny and I just appreciate the Filipinos recognizing me and, and uh, enjoying as well. And they invited me for being down here with a race woman in the morning but to uh, drink and eat with them and all after the race. And you know what? I think I will. Well, we're gonna get this boat pushed back out and we're gonna cruise on down the coast here a little bit further. And uh, we're gonna break on around the point down here and we'll be right into the Iloilo Gimera Strait. And that goes right on around to the wharfs and all where the big ships and all are. David's getting his uh, sea legs today. <laughs> You're getting burnt, you little pasty. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, we survived, we made it back. How'd you like your boat trip? You look nervous as crap the whole time, be honest. <laughs> you were no. up there talking to yourself? I always talk to myself. And, yeah. and you were shaking your head, no, no, no. <laughs> I have white man's butt, so those freaking waves. <laughs> they, they had you nervous, huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I only got so much butt left, all right? I can tell you, you ain't spent much time on a boat, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> I was not scared to be on your boat. Okay. I'll be okay. Anytime, sir. So, uh, okay. <laughs> we we actually okay. So the guys recognized me down there with the vlog and with my my bunker boat that's customized and all that, and that's really cool of them. That was pretty cool. <laughs> what the what the shameful part was is all right. So we hop on the boat and we push it out in the water and I crank the engine up. My throw it in reverse. And I'm telling David, ain't none of them got reverse, you know. We're backing it out, boy. We're being cool. <laughs> then I shift it neutral in the drive, and it dies. Bloop. Oh, no problem. Just choked it dead. I went to cranking on it, and I went to cranking on it, and I went to cranking on it, and we're drifting out. So I hurry and throw the anchor before we drift out into deep water, and uh, the anchor held. And I said, well, you know what? Instead of even paddling and fighting side to side with a paddle, I just pulled the anchor up, threw it out further, pulled myself up to that point, threw it again, pulled us up closer, and then I was able to jump out of the boat and push it back to shore. Got to shore, I tied off to a log up at the shore, go back there to the engine, and uh, I'll be dang. We cranked it up. <laughs> we cranked it up. It started up. Uh, I don't know if they acted like it's a little flooded or maybe a little water got to my uh, fuel, just a little spot in the line. But it ran us all the way back home. But I guess the boat had to uh, embarrass me just a little bit in front of all these sailboaters. <laughs> At least I saved face and I got it going. I made it home. Yeah. I have a can of starting fluid, which that helps to use that, you know, if you're like in a flooded out situation or something. And maybe I should um, carry that. And honestly, I should carry a toolbox or something, a little pouch with like a spark plug socket and um, a couple extra sets of spark plugs. I, I just think it'd be very sensible. So nevertheless, and y'all don't worry, um, David here, he's my witness. Y'all always saying, 
You need to have life jackets. You need to have life jackets because y'all just think y'all can see everything down in there from your TV screen, right? We had life jackets. We have life jackets. They're right up there with David. So uh, for all of you uh, uh, Coast Guards here, <laughs> I have safety inspectors at the house. I have OSHA viewers at the house. Then when I get on the boat, I've got Coast Guard. Baby yeah, they go from OSHA to Coast Guard, you know. I'm not just going to ride around, honestly, full time with a life jacket on. Um, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not, I, I just, it's just crazy. Maybe I should just drive my car all the time with the airbag deployed. Hey, you know? I believe right? they, were they were, what do you call it, stashed safely underneath our seats in case we needed them. Yeah, that's usually where they're at. What if you got on the airplane and they just told you, wear them on the airplane the whole time with the mask on? <laughs> <laughs> They're stowed safely underneath the seat. I, I guess I should do that procedure at the beginning on the when you get on the boat. Yeah, showing how to do it all. And <laughs> anybody, anyway, uh, it was a good trip. It was fun, and they invited me to come hang down there, and, I, and that's nice too. So, uh, good times, good times.